Sam Spencer reporting live from the floor of the Democratic National Convention. Tonight was the third night of the convention, and it was extraordinary. Senator Barack Obama officially won the Democratic nomination for president, while Bill Clinton energized the convention like no one else can but Bill Clinton, and saying Barack Obama could once again make America a place called hope. And Joe Biden accepted the, the vice presidential nomination, uh, directly taking on the record of John McCain. For tonight's convention roundup, I'm pleased to be joined by Ben Goodman. Ben Goodman from Kenny Bunk is a delegate representing uh, Barack Obama. Uh, he is also has the honor of being the youngest member of our delegation. Ben, how old are you? I'm 18. 18 years old, you're a delegate. How, how did that come to happen? Well, I've been involved with the Obama campaign for quite some time. I've been volunteering for Democratic Party politics campaigns uh, since I was 10. Wow, and how did you first get involved in the Obama campaign? Well, I uh, was reading through a James Kendall article in the Boston Globe back in uh, late 2006, early 2007, uh, emailed with the name of a lobbyist I found in this article who was on kind of a fledgling Obama committee that was setting up in New Hampshire. Funny story is I ran into James Kendall today and was introduced to him uh, by Jessica Alemo from Politics and Maine, so I finally had really? a chance to, to thank him personally. Wow, that must be cool. Absolutely. Now, I remember you ran a great campaign for national delegate at the state convention. Tell us about that, because uh, you really did an incredible job. How? Tell us how you how you think you got elected to this position. Well, the first thing I did was set up a Facebook group the day of the caucus. I started gathering signatures at the caucus, trying to get my name out. And then uh, I get a little press on the Facebook group. I sent out press releases, and because of that, uh, I was featured on Politic Remain. So it was the Bill Nemitz column. Then my phone, my cell phone was ringing off the hook from uh, news channels across New England. Well, I've, I've heard you've had been having quite an experience uh, here in Denver during the convention. Tell us about some of the people you've met and some of the things you've been able to do. Well, you know, uh, when I was first walking into the convention center, I ran into Al Franken at the door. Really? I told him that I, I wore a, one of his campaign t-shirts. What did he say? Maine. He said that's good because his wife's from Maine. So, uh, she is? Yep, uh, Franny. And then uh, last night as I was leaving the convention center, it was a little late, and I saw a, a face that I recognized, and I went up, and it was indeed Senator uh, George McGovern. Wow. And I had the opportunity to shake his hand, post her a photo, and he noticed my Ed Muskie and called him. And How many years after George McGovern uh, ran for president were you born? Oh, gosh. Uh, I, I think about 17, 17. years later. Yeah. Wow. And that's a real piece of history that you've met. That's right. And, you've been and then the other night, uh, John Hink from Portland and I were, were sitting, kept seeing Walter Mondale get up. So we asked Rita Moran for a piece of paper. We wrote a little note to Walter Mondale. We'd like to meet with you. Passed it forward, and the next thing we know, Walter Mondale has turned around, starts waving to us, and we were able to go down. And Did you get to talk to him? Very briefly. But well, well, that's great. The main delegation where we are right now, uh, the delegation directly below us is the Minnesota delegation, so we often uh, get to uh, see Walter Mondale, former vice president under Jimmy Carter, uh, walk by. Now, what were some of your thoughts on tonight's uh, extraordinary program? Didn't Bill Clinton just do an extraordinary job? You know, I was really impressed. I, I think a lot of Obama supporters would rub the wrong way. Based on some comments he made in the primary, uh, I think tonight he alleviated those feelings. Uh, and I think that we are united for all of our candidates. And the job, you know, we're, we're happy to have Bill Clinton on this he, he really went out of his way to praise Barack Obama. He even... Uh, directly compared Barack Obama to himself, saying that when he was running in 1992, uh, many people said he was too young and experienced to be, to be president. And of course, we had eight great years of peace and prosperity under Bill Clinton. So I think both the Clintons have just done an extraordinary job to, to uh, embrace Barack Obama and to urge uh, uh, their supporters to, to enthusiastically back him. Well, I think uh, Senator Clinton coming out for New York. Moving to, you know, to uh, suspend the rules and accept that explanation was just a kind of I think that that was the right way to do it. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind now that I would say that it is 100% that it would be kind of an You know, an NBC News kind of unofficial test of the that came out the other day showed that people overwhelmingly believe that Senator Clinton uh, was doing what she's doing for her own game. Uh, I don't think that's true. I don't think anyone could think after seeing her last night of Bill Clinton's and Mike, that that's the case. Absolutely not. I think that uh, the Clintons have a real investment in the party. They, they believe, as Barack Obama believes, that we need fundamental change in the forward, and I think they're going to be great allies. Well, 
Well, yeah, in light of extraordinary speeches, Joe Biden gave an extraordinary speech. What did you think of what he had to say? Absolutely. I mean, Paul Biden, his son, and his introduction just brought tears to everybody's eyes. Just, just amazing. And then for Senator Biden to come out, you know, I did like the slip up when he referred to John McCain as George Bush. <laughs> Thank God he spoke for all of us. Just it was clear that, that Joe Biden is going to uh, not be shy about attacking John McCain's record during the next couple of months. That's right. And, you know, it's leaked tonight from the New York Times that John McCain has the record of signing him. Uh, really? Who, who, who is it? Uh, they, it hasn't come out yet. He's selected him, but he hasn't announced That's it. right. But NBC says Lieberman is floating near the top of the list, as is, I believe, Paul Lent. Now, Paul Lent, reminds me of Dan Paul. I don't know why. But to put Joe Biden in a debate with just about any Republican, uh, you know, I, I think I need to get the fuck out of here. We have an extraordinary team this year. Have you met any other delegates who are in San Francisco? Yes, uh, a, good really? friend, a good friend of mine, Molly Kalahata, uh, from California, uh, he is an 18-year-old delegate. She's the youngest from California as well. Uh, we met out, uh, we met working out in Iowa. And uh, so it's been good to, to catch up with her this week, as well as some, some friends that we met in Iowa and New Hampshire who are volunteering or just in the city uh, to visit. And then finally, what are your plans for the fall? Well, I'm heading uh, Saturday. Saturday night, I'm moving in a day late to the University of Manitoba. Oh, great. Congratulations. Well, thank you very much. And uh, we're going to do everything we can to organize that campus to, to make sure we turn the second congressional district for Barack Obama. That fourth electoral vote is going to be crucial. Absolutely. And we're going to need to win uh, the second district to, to send Tom Allen back to Washington. Absolutely. Well, Ben Goodman, Maine's youngest delegate, thank you for joining us tonight. Thank and you. thank you for all you're doing for the party, and thank you for being here with us uh, this week in general. Thank you so much. This is Sam Spencer reporting live from the floor of the Democratic National Convention. Stay tuned for regular updates. Now back to you in the studio. <laughs> Good job.